This feels right. It's like I finally met the one. The fuck took so long, though, huh? Where you been all my life, huh? If she says she's dominant, I bet you this is what happens behind the scene. One of you will betray me tonight. Is it me, Jesus? No. Is it me, Jesus? It's not you either. Is it me, Jesus? Is it me, Jesus? You are not good enough for my daughter, and I don't want you around her. End of story. So why don't you give me one more- Don't go to a gay bar if you're going to be offended when I ask if you're gay. As a young lesbian family, you create a lot of confusion with the nice strangers that you run into. You can see their brains kind of ticking and noticing that the children or child is very connected to both of us so they start to ask questions like are you sisters are you friends for some reason it never really occurred to them that we were two moms together by choice after my maternity leave uh, my wife took the baby to work with her here they are so cute and she tells funny stories about how she'd say yeah i just have this brand new baby and uh, they would be amazed at how great she looked for having a one-month-old baby. And it got to be too much to explain every time. See, we're a two-mom family, blah, blah, blah. Um, so eventually she would just started saying, thanks. A question that we get asked a lot, especially back then, was what will the baby call you guys? You know, won't it be confusing? And I guess it started with... Uh, my wife and I would call each other mommy, mama, mom, you know, those kind of things. And eventually our daughter very specifically called her mama and me mommy. And she was very consistent about it. So the names just stuck. So to this day, I have gone back to mom after being mommy for many years. And she's still mama. Listen, if you're going to call me weak, first of all, you're wrong. But if you're going to call me weak, don't call me a pussy. Call me a ball sack. Because if you flick a man in the ball sack, he goes down like a $2 hooker. He's got a little pair of Goldilocks between his legs. It needs to be the perfect temperature at all times. Otherwise, if it's too cold, they shrivel up inside themselves. And if it's too hot, they hang down so low they could tickle the devil's forehead. So if you want to insult me, darling, call me a ball sack. Because if you call me a pussy, I'm only going to take it as a compliment. Because if you had any experience with women whatsoever, you'd know that not only are pussies a force to be reckoned with, but they're damn near indestructible. And just like that, <clears throat> Lola's gone. Wrong. Lola's right here, you fucking Brussels sprout. Hey guys, so I just wanted to do this little introduction thing real quick because I want to show you guys this painting that I got for my anniversary this year. It is so beautiful. So a little backstory. Me and my girlfriend, we just hit three years in our relationship and she made me this... Drinking my wife again. It's literally so. It's so 
feels so good in my house. God! You look like a freaking spider! I thought we were done with these brains! Never amount to me. Okay? Just know that.